Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. For today, I have a really fun and exciting video that I decided to do for um, October since Halloween is coming up. This is a idea that I decided to create and I was actually Wonder Woman a few years ago for Halloween. This is the costume that I bought at Party City. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it comes with a dress, the belt, the little sleeves, the headband, the cape, and then these little leg pieces, which I don't wear because they don't fit my legs. Um, but yeah, I have the costume on right now. It's super, super cute. It's still such a fun costume, I think at least. And, and I had a lot of fun filming this video, and I do have a few other Halloween makeup tutorials that I plan on doing but um yeah this is the look that i created i kind of wanted to just stay towards the original wonder woman makeup look and I, I am wearing the dress it looks like i'm not wearing anything but i promise i have it on it's just strapless um but if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and if you did enjoy watching this video give it a thumbs up and let's jump into the video this is the maybelline master conceal by Face Studio, and this is in the shade Light Medium, and I'm literally almost out of this stuff. It's one of my favorite drugstore concealers. just finished my concealer and then I'm going to set my eyes with the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder and this is in the shade Transparent. Okay, and then for this eye look I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Okay, I'm going to be going in with the shade right here, and this is called Tease. And I'm just going to use that as my transition color. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with the shade called Busted and it's this darker brown right here. So I'm going to darken up this look a little more and I'm going to be going in with this black shade called Blackout. with chopper and it's kind of similar to it's like a rose gold kind of shade So for my brow bone, I'm going to take 
this shade right here and it's called Booty Call. I'm gonna go in with um, some eyeliner. This is the Tarte Tartiest Eyeliner. It's got felt tip on one end and then a pencil liner on the other. I'm gonna use the felt tip and I'm just gonna draw a really thin um, winged liner. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my winged liner, and now I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and then I'm going to apply some falsies on after. Okay, so I just put on my mascara and then now I'm going to apply some falsies. I don't remember what um, style these are in, but these are um, the drugstore kiss lashes. They're just really thick, dark, and wispy lashes. Okay, I'm going to go in with the pencil liner from Tarte and I'm going to line my upper waterline and my lower waterline as well. So I'm going to go in with a matte foundation today, but before I do that, I'm going to put some primer on and this is the um, MAC primer. And for foundation, I'm going to be using one of my old favorites, and this is the Tarte Amazonian 12-hour full coverage clay foundation. Now I'm going to use a brush to apply this. Um, it might be a little bit lighter than my skin, but that's what contouring and bronzer and blush are for. Oh wait, and then this is actually like leaving streaks all over my face. So I'm going to go in with my sponge and blend this out. It's okay. So this foundation is going to have to go bye-bye. Okay, and then I'm going to put some concealer underneath my eyes. And I'm just using that same Maybelline concealer. I'm just going to add a little bit because I did put foundation on. You guys, I wasn't joking. This is like finished. Whoops. And that's how it comes out. And since Wonder Woman does have, um, I noticed that her face is very like structured and very like in depth. So I'm going to add a lot of contouring and bronzer just to make me comparable comparable to her so and then for contouring 
I haven't really found any other cream contour um, yet that I've been wanting to try. So I'm just going to be using the same contour that I always use, which is the Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick. So much better you guys where would we be without contouring and bronzer I feel like I could not live without contour and bronzer whatsoever I feel like I look like the comic Wonder Woman you know like the little comic books I feel like I look like that well Maybe not brown, but if I did like the black contouring. Guys, you know what bothers me the most when I like do my makeup? When I get makeup like all in my little baby hairs right here, that irritates the crap out of me because I have really dark hair and when I get makeup product here, it like turns my hair like a light powdery, really weird texture, and that irritates the crap out of me. To bake underneath my eyes, and I'm just gonna use that same Rimmel Loose I just spilled the powder in there. Okay, I'm back. So I'm just going to take that same powder that I just spilled everywhere and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. While that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. Okay, so I just finished my brows, and I'm just gonna wipe off this powder. Okay, moving on to bronzer. I'm using another old favorite, which is the Hard Candy Bronzer in the shade Heat Wave. I also feel like this bronzer is a little too orangey, but... Okay, I'm going to finish up my lower lash line, and I'm going to be going in with the shade Busted again, and I'm going to just blend that on my lower lash line. I go back to this palette I always wonder why I stopped using this palette
Okay, to set my brows in place, I'm going to use the Mary Kay brow gel. And this is honestly my favorite brow gel. It also doesn't make them crunchy either. And it doesn't give them like a white cast. And then I'm going in with some mascara again on my lower lash line. So moving on to blush, I'm going to use this little Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. Oh, I forgot. I still have to do lipstick. Okay, well, before I do lipstick, I'm going to spray my face with this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Brightening Setting Spray 12 Hour Long Wear and Hydration. And I'm just going to spray my face, that way my highlighter can stick out a lot more. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be taking this Becca Chrissy palette, and I'm going to probably mix these two highlighters right here So I've been doing this a lot recently. I like to spray my face with um, setting spray and then I like to press the setting spray into my skin with a beauty blender. I noticed it makes my skin look a lot more flawless and not cakey like. So I like to do this as an extra step. Okay, I couldn't find my red lip liner, so I'm just going to be going in with a nude lip liner today. This is in the shade Ever by NYX, and it's just the lip liner, the crayon lip liner. And I'm going to lightly line my lips and then go in with this MAC liquid matte lipstick in the shade Feels So Grand. Okay guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it was fun for you guys. I know I had a lot of fun making this and I will be making a couple more um, Halloween makeup videos. So if you guys wanna see anything specific, leave some comments down below for me and I will check them out. Also, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so you guys can see more videos of me. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.